Today was the continuation of the trial of Michael Wilkins and the death of Danny Dijon Domenico. Michael Wilkins is charged with manslaughter, um, but he has pleaded not guilty. Today he was cross-examined by current attorney Lisa Defoe, who said, who kind of de zeroed in on the details of the night or the morning of Christmas Eve when Wilkins and Dijon Domenico were together and when Dijon Domenico was killed. Michael Wilkins maintains that he doesn't remember when he left Dijon Domenico's apartment. He does know that it was dark outside still, but he said a lot of alcohol and drugs were consumed that night and that he doesn't, a lot of the details are hazy. He said he doesn't, he said he never touched or saw the knife that killed Dijon Domenico. He said that he went home and he slept on the couch because his, he didn't want to wake up his common-law spouse and their baby. We also heard from Dan Wilkins, who said he went to get a gift certificate for Michael Wilkins for his common-law spouse on the morning of Christmas Eve at around 10.30. Um, that correlates to what we heard last week um, when two employees of the hair salon from downstairs said they heard a lot of noise at about 11 o'clock. Um, there's a lot of timeline is important in this case. Um, phone records are important in this case. So um, that's it for witnesses. We're going to hear uh, closing statements tomorrow. And then uh, Superior Court Justice Renee Pomerantz said she will have a decision hopefully by the end of the week.